The name Wiccan is incidentally inspired from the brand of Crowleyan witchcraft known as Wicca, which is a popular form of witchcraft based largely on the teachings of Satanist Aleister Crowley. Wicca is promoted in countless movies and television shows that are used by Satan to draw young people, especially unknowing young girls, into witchcraft. While the actress that plays a Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, in both WandaVision and the 2022 movie Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, denies being a practicing witch herself, she does claim that she hangs out with those who do practice witchcraft and that she herself is witchy. I am witness to it. I don't practice it, but I have friends that do and people around me who do. I do feel though that I and some people in my life are a little bit witchy. And I think that that has something to do with just being connected to nature yeah. and to allowing certain thoughts or um, surprising, yeah, surprising dreams, like actually allow, like take them in. Um, and I think there's something about that in itself that's very witchy. Wicca, from whom the Scarlet Witch's son Wiccan is named after, was founded by a member of Crowley's OTO, a Satanist by the name of Gerald Gardner. Gardner, who is regarded as the father of Wicca, met with Crowley before forming Wicca and borrowed many of Crowley's teachings, including the Crowleyan maxim, do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law, which was changed to the Crowleyanized Wiccan read, quote, and ye harm none, do what ye will, as the official Wiccan read. Even the popular online Wikipedia acknowledges that, quote, Gardner drew upon older forms of ceremonial magic, in particular, those found in the writings of Aleister Crowley, and that Gardner's wording of the original charge, referring to the Wiccan charge of the goddess, added extracts from Aleister Crowley's work, including the Book of the Law, thus linking modern Wicca irrevocably to the principles of Crowley's Thelema. Wicca became a less overt and foreboding form of Crowley's Satanism, but its practices are rooted in Satanism and Crowley's Satanism to boot. Tragically, Wicca has been considered one of the fastest growing religions among young people, which is largely the result of occult productions that glorify witchcraft from books, TV shows, and movies that range from Harry Potter. Harry! Expecto Patronum! Sky One's A Discovery of Witches. <laughs> Legacies. Lizzie, you gotta fight this thing. Fighting is useless. Malibor still lives and his control over us is stronger than ever. Soon the likes of me will be the least concerned. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Convert, hunters. Take Lucifer Morningstar into your hearts, and I promise you mercy. But you must say his prayer. Oh, mighty dark lord. Oh, mighty dark lord. By whom all things are set afire. By whom all is set afire. Thy power be thy path. Thy, power be thy the path. will be my desire. Thy will be thy desire. In hell as it is on earth. In hell as it is on earth. Pray, Satan. Be Satan. Charmed. The Marvel and Disney WandaVision, featuring the Scarlet Woman, or Scarlet Witch, and many others. Satan uses such programming and seduction to prey on the perverse and insatiable lust for supernatural power untethered from the Creator God and biblical morality. Gardner introduced through Wicca the worship of the Horned God that you see here. While Wiccans were told that the Horned God is not really the devil, a rose by any other name is still a rose. And when one rejects the Lord Jesus Christ, the Creator, and worships other spiritual forces, there is in fact only darkness which is left, which often presents itself as light. God's word warns in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 and 14, that Satan appears as an angel of light in his effort to deceive. Wicca, by taming Crowley's licentious credo of do what thou wilt shall be whole of the law, with the rejoinder, harm ye none, does nothing to keep one from the same demonic entities that possess the blatant Satanists, as it is all part and parcel of the same kingdom of darkness. We encourage any among our audience who are dabbling in the occult to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ now before it is too late. More and more, we see Marvel glorifying the occult and drawing young people into the world of the occult and the practice of satanic spells. 
God's word warns in 2 Timothy chapter 3 that the last days perilous or terrible times would come and that men would be lovers of themselves and that sorcerers or those who oppose the truth like Jannies and Jambres who were the magicians that withstood Moses in the days of Pharaoh would creep into people's homes and lead them astray. Hey, Joe Schimmel here. We want to thank you for watching. We want to also encourage you not to forget to sign up or subscribe to Good Fight Ministries YouTube channel. We have the most amazing content. We also have the very popular Good Fight radio show where we examine all kinds of things in light of scripture, as well as 511 News, which is also very eye-opening. And we also have mind-blowing video exposés that you won't see anywhere else. So thanks again. We'll see you later. And we just pray that the Lord blesses you richly as you seek his face. God bless.